Hello and welcome everybody to uh, AYB Reviews. We're back again with the Morax from uh, Genius and uh, we're going to show you how to hook this thing up to either an Xbox or a PlayStation. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about how that works. Okay, so when you open the package you're going to find a few cables. There's going to be the microphone, which is actually disconnected. you got to plug that into the socket. And you've got your cable for the headset right here. It has a USB end and a standard microphone end right here. On, on the end of that cable, or in the middle of that cable, you've got this power block. Uh, it's your controller. It has a switch for PC and for game. It's got a mute button for the microphone, a light to indicate where the microphone is lit up, and uh, a volume control on the side. You're also going to have a port for audio pass through for the microphone when you're plugging in with Xbox. So I'm going to show you how we're going to plug those in with the uh, the additional cables that you get. So you get also your RCA cable with the pass through, and it's got a uh, female microphone headset, and you get your uh, Xbox microphone, the smaller cable. So the way this plugs in is you take your block. And in the small hole, you put in your Xbox password cable. And then that cable ends up plugging into your controller, just like that. Now, the USB cable, that actually has to be plugged into one port on the Xbox. So you plug that in there. And what that does is it provides power for your headset. Now, the other cable, that's this one here, that gets plugged into the extra wire. Now... What this does is it allows the audio to be passed through to your headset. So you take your audio pass-throughs, and these get plugged into your audio jacks for the Xbox cable. Now one thing to make note of is the Xbox cable, you do need to have uh, the RCA cables. So that means that out of the box, you do need to have an additional cable from, X or from Microsoft or you need to use the standard RCA, so not uh, high definition cables. If you get the high definition cables, like these ones, <clears throat> you can end up having the pass through anyway. And then there's also a cable that you can purchase that's a HDMI pass through. So what it does is it plugs into the audio port or the audio video port on the back of the Xbox and the HDMI cable gets plugged in as well. And that has ports that you plug this out or take this out of. And if, what you can do with this is because it's a pass through, you can plug it into your stereo system and then you can use either the headset or your stereo or both at the same time. So what the benefit of that is, is if you have a uh, family member that wants to go to sleep or you need to be quiet because someone's studying in the house, you can pass through the uh, Xbox audio to your headset and then you can continue playing without having to mute your uh, your game. So pretty simple setup, and uh, it's very similar to uh, to this with the PlayStation. We're going to show you that in a moment. Okay, so on to the PlayStation. With the PlayStation 3, it's very similar to the Xbox setup. Uh, the only difference is you don't need the additional cable for the microphone. So on your control box, you want to make sure that it's again switched to game and then you use your USB cable. So the USB cable is actually the microphone. This doesn't get used with the PlayStation setup. So Sorry, this does get used, but not for the microphone. It gets used for audio only. So you plug this into any port on your PlayStation, and then you take this cord here, and you take the other end of your headset, plug that in, just like the Xbox. This cord, again, goes to the audio cables for the PlayStation. So the difference with the PlayStation is the PlayStation allows you to have multiple sources plugged in. So you can have the audio coming through this cable while still having an HDMI cable without having to buy anything additional. So your HDMI cable can be plugged in for video or you can use these cables for video as well. And then your audio gets set up through this. Instead of having digital audio, you want to have it through RCA audio and then you get your audio coming through your headset. Again, it's pass-through, so you can plug this into your stereo system or directly into your TV, and that will allow you to play audio through your stereo 
as well as have the audio in your headset. Very simple, super easy to set up. You can't really go wrong at all. So this is a much easier configuration than the Xbox, but both, both configurations are straightforward once you understand what the reason for each one is. So you need to know that this is the microphone for PlayStation, but it's actually just powering for Xbox. That's the difference, basically. So that's it in a nutshell. There's not really much else to say. Um, I really like the headset. I used it on my PC, and um, it works just great. And, oh, I forgot to mention, actually, the PC setup is very simple, too. You can avoid all of this, actually. So with the PC, there's just one cable to plug in. This is gone, this is gone, this is gone. All you do is plug the USB cord in and away you go. It turns on the uh, internal uh, sound card when you plug it or when you switch it to PC right there. That turns on the sound card. Your computer will detect it right away as long as you're running on a current operating system and it will just be installed for you, ready to go. If you don't already have an audio device, it'll automatically default to that one. If you do have a default, or if you do have an audio device, then you just set this as your default, and it works just fantastic. There's no driver, there's no software configuration. Just plug it in, and away you go. Okay, so that was the review of the uh, Morax headset from Genius GX Gaming. Uh, I hope you like it. I really do. It's a nice leather headset with nice comfortable band and has a lot of features that you don't see very often. The ability to play on the Xbox, the ability to play on your PlayStation, the ability to plug it into your PC or your Mac. It's got a built-in sound card so you're ready to go no matter what kind of platform you want to use. You don't have to buy any aftermarket parts. Everything is all ready for you as long as you're using one of the basic setups. You can get more stuff for the Xbox as I demonstrated but you're already ready to go right out of the box. So great package. Hope you really like it. I definitely do. And thank you again for uh, tuning in to AYB Reviews. We'll see you again soon.